long stream. I said between three and four, and I'm on at four thirty. I'm an asshole. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ray Smoner, and we're back to playing. <coughs> As they try to become a human, <coughs> or try to become human. <laughs> That was loud, so I echo. So now was what happened, because I always forget to put that down. Anyways, we left off right here. So what I did was I put the game in rest, I put the PlayStation 4 in rest mode. <coughs> and left um, the game running in the background, that way I wouldn't have to reload it up and go through any kind of things like that. Wow, you look fucked up. Humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. was a little come on I thought we need heat or anything I'm sure well, yeah, I can't walk through the curtain yeah, it's our curtain game It's a little hard. Wow. Okay. Okay, Quarter Dreams. I see you. I see you. You try to make me feel something for these damn androids. I see you. I'm not mad about it. You're kind of hot. Oh, you're north. That's right. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Hey! Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. 
If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. No, I was literally coming here to talk to you. How the hell are you going to be resentful of me for asking what you did before you came here? It's like having an employee get mad at you for asking what your previous job was. Fuck you. Find more crates. they do that? Are you a child? A human child or an android child? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. What the hell? Who the fuck makes a child one? No, fuck that. No, okay, that one I, that one I can't get behind. I'm okay with like the relationship people were having relationships with them and even sexual stuff with these people with the androids or even having them work f and whatnot. But I am not okay with them making the child ones and then toss them out. Was there four fires that you just thought? Or one is go out? Oh. It's like four or five fires that you just thought, okay. Oh, you're not a fire. That you just thought. So, where's this Lucy person at? No, like for real, where's Lucy at? Up here, baby. Can I go upstairs? Nope, oh, can't walk over there. She hits that wall a lot. Okay. Thank you. Can I go upstairs? Nope, it's not. Where the fuck is this yet? Okay, I'm a little confused. Is she back here, maybe? I thought it was a, de a dead end. Did I miss back here? Ah, oh, I did, okay. Are you Lucy? Creepy. She's Sit creepy. Down. She's not Lucy, she's creepy as fuck. I was it down. I was it down. And you can't make me sit down. No, we shall never sit down. Fine. I'll sit down. <laughs> Show me. Show you what? Ow. I'll stop. 
stop the bleeding. So I wonder why they congregate to the fires when we don't need this. They don't need fire. Drink this. I feel like we're joining some kind of weird cult. Drink the blood of my allies, and I will have their power. Give me your hand. You had it all. I think so. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. We don't, how about we don't propose a plan? How about we leave the humans alone? Yeah, what was that? This game is making me want to change my I goal of protecting only the humans. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Was a kind of a short little thing. I kind of figured it would be. And it looks like I did everything there was to do in this one. And not everybody did everything, apparently. Okay, I'm confused. How did only 99% of the players talk to Lucy? You kind of have to talk to Lucy. So what? They just gave up on the game here? They just quit playing here? You kind of have to talk to Lucy to get to, to continue the storyline. You don't have to check the empty crate, but you have to talk to Lucy. Actually, no, you have to check the empty crate, too. You have to do both. No, I need to have to do both. Because <coughs> that's the explore the uh, thing. <coughs> I get the dying android, Josh, Norris, damaged android, let there be light. I, I get all that. You don't have to do any of those. Okay, at least 100% of my friends actually kept on playing this game from past this point. <laughs> now much we look at, there where it comes the flow chart. You're gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. Still... Still very wet. <laughs> Hello? Dark 
knock. We may have. <coughs> Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. He looks a little scary. He looks like Todd. Be shy. Yeah, that's like Todd, but he looks a lot like Todd. Almost like they took Todd's Luther, character design would and. You be so kind as to take these ladies' coats. Tigers, that was scary. Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big empty old house. <coughs> Please make yourselves at home. <coughs> How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Devian, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes. Open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's that's exactly what we want. Of course. I don't trust him. Well, I can help you, but first we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours. And then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. I <coughs> don't know if we should trust this guy. Because here's my question. Right this way? If this always Everything we a, need is in the basement. If this always a tracker, then how come they haven't found me yet? seems wrong about this. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trap hackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good.
Come on, Alice. This way, please. It's not a possible escape, though. Smart dreams. I can't quite look down there and see what's down there. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. That looks old school. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. Yes, what's That's why it's so hard to find them. I did it already. Actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah, no. People believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. Sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I don't want to be reset. Let me go. Ah! Oh, I forgot about that child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Yeah, I knew this was wrong. Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet and so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and dissolution. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. Almost down to you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <clears throat> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara, wake up, Kara! Meet me in the living room. I'm not going to remember that, so how am I going to be sure everyone would have asked? Okay, so if I can do that, can I push this down? Short circuit assholes. I can't touch or push it out. Did I fuck up somewhere? Uh 
Uh, I guess I'm dead. <clears throat> oh, come on. I grabbed that in time. Yep, I'm dead. No, that's not, that's not, that's not, I could do. The game was too fast. That was bullshit. I need to pull the green one anyways to make a short circuit happen. Get down to there. That's a little stupid in my opinion. I don't like this part of the game. <laughs> Not because it, it, it's supposed to happen, but there was nothing I could do anyways. I couldn't leave the fucking house. I had to follow him. I tried leaving the house. It wasn't lighting up. He was not, this dude was not there before. Whatever. But I did do that. Bullshit right there. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. before I don't understand why I guess she's not fully thinking properly but she should have been I think she should have been smart enough to realize that if there's a tracking device on me how come the cops didn't find me out at the parking lot oh cool I kind of, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who succeeded in keeping her memories. It's just, if for some reason it felt like it was... Don't tell me this door was open the whole time, because I walked through here and I pressed that this button to see if I could leave. What's this for? Oh, that's right, the coat. Make yourselves at home. I'm getting some of my memory back. Can I get more memory back maybe if I open the door? Can't leave the house, obviously. Wait, the mirror. I can look, I can look in the mirror. That's what I was trying to do before, actually. I had to look at the bookshelf on the way up, so I don't know if help me with memories like that. I'm hoping 
This will be back memories of cutting my hair. Yes, thank you. So I don't know if I could have to begin with. I didn't even walk over here. If I could have, this might have helped my memories re system reboot better. Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. anything in here because I didn't see it pop up in the registry that I could look at it. But I also didn't try walking around a lot either. So that's kind of my mistake. I probably should have explored this area a lot more. So I think I might be losing Kara. Might be one of the first place, one of the first times that you might lose a character for me. If you can, move one of the three characters fully. Well, this didn't light up when I looked at it last time. And do you want to find a safe place? Somewhere you can start a new life. tried, but I got to realize I wasn't allowed. Can't go there. It's going here, apparently. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's took off the word. Did you hear what I said? Yes, yeah. Uncle. Yeah, this is why I thought he looked like Tom. Oh, wait, what was that? Shit, I messed up. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lockle. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. The little one is human, you dumbass.
I'm looking for a little girl. Have you seen her? A little girl? No, no, no. I haven't seen her. You'll be quiet if I let go. Yes, yes, I promise to be quiet. Don't turn me off. No. No, of course not. Was a mistake. I just mean I kind of have to go through like a secret. I'm like, how am I supposed to get that loose? So can I just walk right past them? That doesn't sound right. if I need it for some reason. If it's right next to fucking Luzo, I'm screwed. Car. <coughs> Car, you remember me? How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You and me never should have come home. <coughs> we have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Okay, so where the fuck am I gonna go? That's the real question. I can't just walk in front of Luther, Luther. can I? Yes, Zarko. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zarko. Where the fuck is our hide? Okay, I can hide in there, but that's probably a bad spot. Table would be a bad spot. I think it was a bad spot because, well, that's what I would hide, technically speaking. Um. Or too obvious. A table would be the best spot for her to hide. Not go. What? The little one is gone. I can't have just disappeared. You gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. This is like a bad spot. It really does. Especially me having to hold buttons that are. Luther, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Coming. Okay, maybe any place would be a good spot to hide. <laughs>
trouble. The shotgun's loaded. Shit. <coughs> Shit. Downstairs. I regret that now. And just come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl. How, how, how scared she must be. I can't see behind me, damn it. Just be reasonable. There you are. Fuck. <coughs> Move on. I over there. couldn't see where he was at. Much of a spread on that damn thing, is there? I know the door is locked. Back door. Front door I know is locked. <coughs> Motherfucker, this is like a walking tyrant. I warned you, dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? <laughs> Get away! I did. Get away! From <laughs> me. Obey me! I'm your master! <clears throat> no, I'm you're your not. Master! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm kind of glad I lost my memory. Actually, I did all this shit. I don't know if it would have ended the same way if I kept my memory. You could tell me. You you succeeded. That was cool. <clears throat> I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. I knew someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I'm 
So I wonder if losing my memory is actually what kind of helped me with um, rescuing, getting him, having him rescue me like that. God damn, there's a lot you can do in this one. Holy shit! I thought there was a lot you could do in the other one that I saw. God damn, that's a big ass overflow tree. So let's do what we always do and look at what other, other people did. Alice attracted by odd noises. Car was reset. So a little more than half the people kind of failed that one. Got it. <clears throat> um, apparently if you're not reset, you get this top little tree up here which has a lot more um, to do with it. I'm guessing if I killed him, there's more I could have done here. As a guess though, I don't know if there actually is more I could have done there. But, um... Bathroom Android is loud, 94%. I didn't say how many people killed or spared him, though. That's weird, but whatever. I mean, it's a choice, so why not put the percentage there? Whatever. Uh, obey the new master, go see loser, bring Trey, drop the android torso off, observe monster's cell, recall offering coat. Apparently there was one other thing I missed there. Actually, there's a lot of things here to recover my memory that I missed. But one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I was getting five out of six memories we collected. Is enough to get your memory back. So if anybody in the future plays this, all you need to do is have five memories recreated. And some of the memories that you recreate don't need to be actually in the house. Memories that you already caused, like remembering the ice, remembering cutting your hair, um, stuff like that. Remembering the discussion with Zalco, the Todd's ice pipe, Zalco, and changing appearance are three things that you didn't have to do in the house. Uh, well, not three things you didn't have a choice of doing. We call offering the coat is also a choice that you the game made for you now observing the monster cell that was one of the choices that you kind of had to you had to reassure Alice or you wouldn't have remembered observing the monster cell <clears throat> uh, we collected enough memories and this whole tree over here I don't know if these two trees end the storyline right there like like it's end of color storyline completely or what? Uh, the memories collected, 54% of the people who played this got the memories we collected, memory we covered. Um, check fireplace embers, check the TV. I did miss reading the book, so that would probably be the bottom part right down there. Alice was found, 98% of the people found Alice. I hid, I hid under the table, in the bedroom, hide in the closet, go through the corridor. Um, 26 people went, percent went to the bathroom, 22% got alerted by Zalco. Sneak through the storage room was 26%. Sadly, it looks like 76% of people did get spotted eventually. <clears throat> and it does look like... Um, if I would have kept going to the storeroom, maybe I could have hit different places and whatnot. Um, chase started, which can happen almost at any time, looks like. Can happen often, be truthful. So yeah, the chase was started. And some people apparently could fail the chase. 76% of people started the chase. But it was like 97% of the people did not fail. Or at least they reach the stairs. Escapes the yard. Zalco catches up. The monster ambush Zalco. <clears throat> the monsters ambush Zalco. 95%. Uh, I'm not sure what the top one would be. I don't know if the top one is. If I didn't let the monsters out. Maybe I had like a little quick time thing. Or as you said a polar bear. 
maybe the polar bear thing happens because I remember my I got I freedom, and then Luther joins Carla and Alice. Only ninety seven percent of the people had Luther joining Carla and Alice. That's still kind of weird. So 100% joins Carl and Alice, 100% had the monsters ambush, 100% reached the stairs, <clears throat> 71% of you got the chase started. So some of you were able to get past getting spotted, some of my friends were able to not get spotted. 14% uh, uh, the android alerted, sneaked in the storage room, hide in closet. Go through the corridor, enter the bedroom, hide under the table. 100% of them, my friends found Alice. Uh, only 85% checked the fireplace and 7% TV. 42% of my friends got their memory recovered. That means more people were able to stop the memory leak or memory deletion. Damn, we collect enough memories. 42% did those four at least. Only 14% recalled uh, the pipe, though. 42% uh, opened new master. So only 42% of my friends' car was reset. 100% of my friends are free the monsters. Alice attracted by our noises. So 100% reassured Alice. Awesome. So that means 42... That means 58% of my friends was able to keep the memories and did this whole little uh, line up here. Which, from the looks of things, you'd keep the memories, it just jumps like straight to the end part here where you're searching the house of Alice. <laughs> it just like, skip all this shit, and boom, violence. <laughs> which, which makes sense. It obviously makes a lot of sense. But wow. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff you can still do. Most of the stuff that I can still do though, I think is still in the deleting in her memories getting deleted section. That's what it looks like at least. Yeah, most of the stuff is in deleting them. Um, her having her memories deleted. So I'm not too worried about like redoing that particular one to see what happens when like that. Hey Connor, welcome back. Why is there a king in my hand? Oh, I'm gonna... Now, last time I missed something while I was here, so... Hey, what the hell? Fix yourself, game. I see where Amanda's at. Can I walk anywhere else, or is it literally just on this white path? I walk over here. How far can I walk over here? This is what I missed last time. What is this thingy? What are you? What are you? It's shiny. What is it? Do it again. That was cool. It made you jump. What's it do? Can I walk on the... Can't walk on the Zen Garden. That would be funny. I mess up her little Zen Garden thing. I don't know if I should actually like or trust Amanda, to be honest. And it seems like there's a lot of things she wants or expects me to do. I'm not sure if I'm quite. comfortable with. Also, why does it feel like I'm not in the real world? I feel like this is like in my mind somewhere, you know? Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Yes, I would. It's raining, bitch. Even in my own head.
That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Good. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. <clears throat> A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. This is a Manda chick. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be peeking outside the windows and shit. <laughs> I'm a stalker though. Hee 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 hee. Hey doggo. How are you doing, Sumo? It's Sumo, the Sumo doggy. Lieutenant Anderson! about anybody home really you can ignore that thing dude I'll give you props for that <clears throat> I couldn't ignore that annoying ass buzzing sound of the doorbell. Why is my camo rotating? Oh shit, what the fuck? Um, hello? Lieutenant Anderson! Sorry. Easy. Sumo, I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Good thing I learned his name, huh? <coughs> you know, I don't think you're dead. I think you just passed out. Drink a little too much. He's contemplating suicide. Hmm. 
Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. You're gonna be mad. I broke your window. It's me, Connor. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Sulu, attack. Good job. Attack. <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, that's what we can do to battle then. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Dude, you're drunk. You can't even not not go anywhere. I'm what not going to be. Oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! What the fuck are you doing here? The homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. <laughs> I'll go get them. <laughs> I... <sighs> I don't care, that was kind of fun. <laughs> it's only a sex club downtown. No big deal. What Make a song with us. Whatever. Hippy, strippy, streaky. Let's go with streaky. <laughs> no matter what, they all sound stupid and bad. They all sound like bad outfits. <laughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? He's drunk! <coughs> and he was caught playing suicide. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> oh, nasty. <laughs> Usually they don't, like, show the puke coming out of the mouth in anything, video game or... Much of anything else, but that was just uh, nasty. Must read. Tainted love. Sales of the Android intimate partners are exploding. <laughs> Android's capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success. They are bad to keep up. Stores stocked, though the idea seemed for a fetch. Initially, cyber life gambling paid off. These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many androids take care of the house, cook. I know how to do this, people. Uh, cook to a high standard and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey, I have a headache. <laughs> uh, while Cyber Life initially focused on urban singles to buy its models, this year's record's divorce rate seems to show that many men and women t today prefer to live with an android than a human partner. 
This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious, serious questions about the war of Android's play society. A declining birth rate, I think might be okay with 7.8 billion people on the Earth. Kind of pull the plug. Oh, okay, this is like what we're talking about now, actually. Being hooked on technology and looking at all the uh, um, cell phones all the time, being on Facebook all the time, stuff like that. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. So I guess you like blues too. So you like death metal. Pink loves jazz. Hmm. Is that like a hold on a second, is that like a real basketball practice match happening? Oh damn it. I got set up on the TV. I missed a few things. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Simba's so cute. He's a big fluffy doggy. Yeah, I miss a lot of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I miss quite a bit. <clears throat> Read to pull the plug. Read tainted love. Hicks playing Russian with playing Russian roulette. So take this streaky shirt and hippie shirt with the two most common. Interesting. Distant attitude. Take Hank to the bathroom. Analyze Hank. Calm Hank's dog. Hank's dog attack. Enter house. Was that the only way to enter the house through the broken window? I guess it was. I feel like it shouldn't have been, honestly. I feel like there should have been. Oh, there was nothing special here. I touched that statue for no reason. Oh, fuck you. Hank is a friend. Amanda is neutral. The public opinion doesn't care about me right now. Um, friend-wise, 85% of you read the book, 57% you learned about that, 71% took the streaky shirt, nobody wore the stripey shirt. Which kind of makes sense, stripes are ugly. 57% <laughs> uh, of you got a distant attitude, 71% calmed Hank's dog. Uh, 57 did ring again, 71 checked the car, 30 cent bent the window, 85% checked the living room, front living room window, and then there's one I missed apparently. For only 71% of you got calmed Hank's dog, does that mean some of you didn't know the dog's name? Was Sumo? When, before you broke in? <clears throat> does that mean the dog actually like bites you or something, or what? And you have to punch the dog or something? I would hope not, that would suck. I don't want to put a dog. That would really suck. And back to Jericho. Might make this a kind of a short stream. I think I might be ending it soon. Only because I, I don't know how long the game actually is. I should look, up, I should look it up actually. This is crazy. 
If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Ten hours, approximately. Okay, so let me go ahead and pause this really quick. Um, I kind of want to look at some stuff really quickly. I feel like I've been playing more than 10 hours, to be honest. Um, let's see. My first live stream of this game was there. That was two, about two hours. Uh, a little over two hours there, so four hours. Five and a half hours, and I'm now at six. I'm at about seven hours total right now. So I got about three hours left. Uh, I'm gonna say about four hours left because of how much I, uh, exploring I do. I also like I explore as l much as I possibly could. Like, um. The abandoned parking lot area. I felt like I was. I didn't. I didn't go to the motel like I could have. I didn't do anything in the store like I could have. I kind of went in the store, asked a question, tried to get a little bit of money for help. They said no, and then I walked around for a second and just left, and then went straight to the car. I feel like if I would have stayed there, gone to the motel, stuff like that, it would have added more time to the series. But I didn't do that, so. Um, so yeah, you know what, I'm actually I'm going to end it right here, it's actually a good spot to end it, right before you get to any action pack scenes or uh, any major, um, any major, major story branching archers and whatnot, I'm going to end it right here, um, nothing much, is, not much to actually say about this particular storyline, honestly, this particular setup, um, Mostly because of the fact being that there wasn't a lot done. I did enjoy the, um, I enjoyed Clara's stuff a lot. That was a lot of fun. Lose, even though, even though I was a little irritated about losing the memories, and I felt like I should just restart that whole chapter over, but I was like, no. I, I, I didn't say this, I thought it was in my head, mind you, or you guys would have heard me. But I was like, I should restart this chopped over. I feel like I fucked up really bad. I think I might have fucked up really bad. I think I might have screwed up. I should try it over. And I was like, no. I'm determined to play the game without ever starting over my first playthrough. And no matter what happens, if Kara's dead and I can't play her anymore for whatever reason, it's just even possible. The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Jono. A French writer. I'm gonna give you props, Miss Chicky Pussy, whoever you are, for either being able to pronounce that name. <laughs> Jean 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 whatever the fuck you said. Congratulations on pronouncing that name. I read it, and that's not what it said when I read it in English. <laughs> Anyways, um, so her storyline was fun. Connors was kind of interesting. We learned a little bit more about Hank, but not as much as I wanted to. I didn't. I kind of screwed up, I think, there. I wish I would have had a timer. See, he said, give me five minutes. I felt like it was shorter than five minutes there. But five minutes can go by fast. And then there was, um. Marcus's story, like, story little thing. That was a small little itty bitty thing. There was nothing to that. Just walk around, get your fortune told, basically, and get told that you're gonna change how people take of androids, either for the good or for the bad. And I don't know if the light is... Sorry. Brain went dumb. Dead. When she said, I walk in light and shadow... Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens... Everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew about that one. Anyways. Um.
the light and the dark that she mentioned in the beginning. I don't know if the light is for the androids or for the humans. I already decided that even with Marcus, I'm going to make him kind of go against Jericho, I think, eventually, if that's how it can be done. So it'll be like Marcus versus Simon or whatever, and Marcus will be for whatever the humans majority decide, basically. Basically, I don't think I'll be helping the androids become free, which is what I think Marcus is supposed to be trying to do. Um, I did keep my goal in check, though. Alice is still alive. Hank is still alive. And Marcus, I can't... haven't been able to control his fate just yet. But I think this is where I start controlling whether Marcus is for the humans or against the humans. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult. You have no idea right now, I'm girl. Here for you. Um. So we'll get to see that next time, which will be tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll be on the episode. I know I said yesterday I could stream a little bit longer. I had nothing planned. But I've had a headache all day since I woke up. And it's not going away. So today it's going to be a short stream. So I do apologize for that. Hey, let me know what you guys think. Give me uh, give me all the likes or dislikes. Leave comments down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's see what we can get done, guys. I would love... My goal is to have... 150 subscribers by the end of this year. That's kind of my goal. Basically to double my subscriber base. As it is right now. As we're at 76. So doubling my subscriber base by the end of this year would be awesome. And then to have like five or six followers on Twitch. That'd be really cool too. But anyways, thank you all for watching. As you know, I am the one and only Alessa Mona. We've been playing this way become human. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. I had a great time. And as always... I'll if a see man has not discovered something next time. he will die for, he's As not he's not talking. Live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Now she's not talking. See you next time. As always. Bye-bye.